Incredible. And last time we were here, we talked about a US scroll view. So now I want to talk about how to use a scroll view dynamically. So we have issues where we probably would have issues where you need to display items to your users. Example of a story feed, maybe Instagram or Facebook, something similar. And then you don't know how many posts the user have has. It may be 20, it may be 30, it may be 40, it may be 2. Now, what many most people do for that is they use a table view. But then you may have something else too. Maybe a product display page where you display item of a product. And then the description of the product file is a lot. So some items could have a simple description of this is a pen. Some item could have very vivid description and this would take span multiple lines. And how can you scroll view content that you don't know? Now to uh, to accommodate that, we use a dynamic. We, we try to create a, a scroll view that is dynamic, which is it adapts to the size of your, to the content of your page. All right. So let's. Uh, this is what we have before. We are going to try and edit it and add something new. So we're going to add. Let me give an instance of what I mean. So we'll add two levels here. Now this is uh first post. Little post and last post. Let's add this. Uh, let's see that constraint. Uh, no, last post we set it as well. It's Okay, so if you give our view now a height of, we're assuming it's going to be more, so we give the height of, okay, let's have this, we give the height of maybe 1, 5, and let's see how that would look like if we run it. We just assumed our content would fit in 1, 5, and then we run it. Let's see how it would look like. Okay, shows fine. Then we scroll and oh, hold up, hold up. There's a lot of space down here, which you don't know. This is because we assume that we have maybe 15 posts and we had the literary. Now we have wasted space. We're like, okay, cool. Let's set it to. Okay, the user has, he's a new user. Let's try 200. And then we. Try it again and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't scroll, but it still shows. But now, technically, on a very good day, if we set the view to click to bounds, it's not going to show its children because it's the children are higher than its scroll. Now we say the 200, the rest I'm not going to show because it's about here, 200. So the trick to doing that is to making it dynamic is. Let's, let's go. Okay, this could still work. It will not work. Let's just keep that 700. Now we open our system editor. Now, two main things we need view controller edge. I don't need you. I need you. Right. So now what we need is this view height constraints. First of all, we need to set it at runtime. Okay. View height constraints. 
then the last post so the idea is let me explain the idea of this now is we, we try to use whatever is fixed on the page whatever is definitely going to show on the page whatever happens so it could be the user profile name it could be the product item name whatever is going to be fixed on the page at all time regardless of whatever happens is what we use as our anchor so for this instance we're going to assume our last post there's always a last post there's always a last description there's always a description there. there's always a so whatever is going to be fixed on the page is what we use as our anchor so we're using this one now and then we drag here as well uh, last post level now that's all we need for export. Let's go and do some ways. Now, obviously, we're going to override our view the layouts subviews. Now, this is called whenever uh, the view is refreshed. Whenever it has loaded so a subview, it's going to call you. Whenever a subview has modified its frame, it's going to call this. So now here, we'll modify our view height constraint dot constant equals to our label last post label dot frame dot bottom now this is what bottom does it gets the y coordinate that is some of the core graphics c direct y and height property so back to x code so what bottom is the bottom of a frame is the distance from here to the bottom of the frame now if i had used y the y property of the frame is going to be from here to the top but the bottom calculates the height of the post as well so if this is if the height of this post is 50 bottom is going to be 340 plus 50 which is 390 if the height of the post is 400 the bottom property is going to be 340 plus 400 which is 740 okay cool so let's look at 21 uh, ground calculates now view height is so now we're setting our view height constraint to the bottom of this post then we give it maybe plus 10 to let it breathe all right now let's see how this works Okay, so it's not going to scroll because the bottom is this view is set to this last post. So it's not going to scroll. Now let's see if we set it to rotate. If it's going to work. Okay, it's still there in the screen. So it's, it's going to show. It still won't scroll. Now that's the idea of everything. So if at runtime our last post was way down below, it's still going to work. It's going to adapt to it and then it's going to show straight up. Okay. Well, uh, okay, let me try changing this and running it in a smaller device like the iPhone four. Ah, there's no iPhone four for iOS eleven. Okay. The SE. Yeah, I think the SE has smaller screen size. Why this is coming? I'm just gonna explain again. So what we did is we set the height constraint at runtime. We set the height constraint to the bottom of our last post. So if I had, uh, if this last post was in, it's going to set here. If the last post is in five hundred, it's going to adapt to bottom of five hundred plus ten. If it was one, same thing. Wherever our last post is, that is where it's going to be. Okay, this is up. So let's go back to VR Studio and let's try deploying on the SE. The SE has a smaller screen. Are you kidding me? It's close. Cool. 
Come on, come on, come on. iPhone SD, okay. Oh, yeah. So that it shows. And it's not scrollable. So let's see if we rotate it. If it's going to be scrollable. Now it's scrollable. Yep, yep, yep. So now it's at this point, it calculates it. Oh, the view, the last post label is somewhere down here. It says the view height and makes it scrollable. But then if it does straight, it's not scrollable, so it doesn't matter. So there's no extra wasted space. Alright guys, thanks for that. I hope you've learned how to use this add -in. I would really love to see how you use it here. If you have questions, you can always ask in the comments. Shoot me a message. If you have requests for videos, you need topics explained, always make a request for videos. I will be here for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And thank you. I will see you guys next time.